Hey, this is John with Learning Guitar Now. In this little video, I'm going to talk to you about uh, recording over backing track and uh, changing out the audio for a, a separate recorded track uh, so it sounds good. I see a lot of people recording over backing tracks and uploading them to YouTube. And uh, if you're using the mic on the camera, a lot of times it just picks up so much room noise that uh, it just doesn't come out sounding very good. So that's what this tutorial is going to be about. So first off, the things that you need are going to be an audio recording program, which if you don't have one, if you're on Windows, you can uh, download Audacity, which is totally free. And uh, you need some way to input your guitar into your computer. So either a little USB device, uh, there's just various devices out there that you can get audio interfaces. Uh, you can just plug your guitar directly into your computer. But the uh, point of this is to import a backing track into your recording program, such as Pro Tools, Cubase, Sonar, Audacity, uh, GarageBand, in any of these type programs. Then uh, set up your guitar, either mic your amp, uh, and run it through the audio, audio interface, and then record uh, while the backing track is being played uh, through your audio device. Like I said, you could also uh, plug directly in if you have a device such as a pod uh, using uh, amp, modul uh, amp simulators. There's a ton of them out there now. Like I said, if you have the pod, uh, there's just a number of things that you can do to get your guitar into the computer. So uh, that's one of the things you're going to have to do. I'm going to walk you through that in Pro Tools and it's similar to all uh, the programs that you're going to use for audio uh, with the audio interface. So that's the first thing you're going to need to do. Another thing you need is a, uh, a video of camera of course so you can record the video and then you need a video editing program. Uh, you can use that. Uh, Premiere Elements is an easy one to use. It's not very expensive. Uh, you just have to learn how to splice the audio with the um, audio that came from the video camera. So I'm going to walk you through all that and let's go ahead and move on to the Pro Tools section. Okay in this video uh, I got Pro Tools open here and like I said earlier you can use any uh, audio editing program to uh, import your backing track and uh, record uh, yourself playing over the track. So uh, like I said you could use Audacity, GarageBand, there's a number of programs that you can use. I'm using Pro Tools LE 8.0 on this uh, tutorial. So now I'm going to import um, the backing track. I'll take a few moments here. Uh, go ahead and import that in. And then I'm going to create a separate track that my guitar is going to be recorded to. Uh, this could be a mic on your amp. It could be a line, a DI from a pod. Um, anything that gets your guitar into the computer. So now I'm going to create one mono track and now I got it set up for it's going to be a mic coming in or like I said earlier you could use a DI input uh, anything to get your guitar in the computer now I'm going to take this and move it over a little bit and then just set I'm going to start playing the track maybe right here um, I'm going to enable this to record so I'll start recording here. That'll give me some time before the tracks start playing. If you have a monitor set up, you can just move over and uh, look at when it's going to start and uh, give yourself like I did before with just like three strokes of the guitar so you have a WAV file set up um, that, so you can see where to uh, manually align the audio. You don't really have to do that, but I find it can help. I, use, I normally usually don't do it, but in the beginning when you're starting to do this, it can help a lot when you're aligning the WAV files. So that's how you get the um, track started. You got your uh, track set up to where your guitar is going to be recorded. Uh, you simply just listen, listen to this track and your guitar is going to uh, be recorded over it. And I highly suggest just muting your track uh, unless you have the amp in another room. It just really depends on how you got everything set up. I like to keep my amp in the same room so I can listen to the amp because I like the way the amp sounds and it helps me to play better instead of listening to my amp coming through uh, monitor speakers. So I have the track playing. Um, I have my the guitar track muted that I'm recording, which is my guitar. It's hooked up to a, a mic that is on my amp, which is in the same room the, that I'm recording in. So if you come back a little bit, 
start recording, uh, go back and get in position to where the camera can see you. And then you just hit maybe three strikes on the guitar real loud. That'll give you a reference point of mic uh, splicing the camera audio with the audio you're going to export out of Pro Tools. So let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and play over the track now. Okay, now I have imported a backing track into Pro Tools, have a separate audio track uh, where I'm going to record the guitar. I have the amp set up in the room with a mic on it so I can uh, monitor myself uh, just listening to myself playing through the amp while I listen to the backing track uh, coming through the speakers. Okay, now I got the tracks recording. I'm just waiting for the track to start playing so I can start playing over it. Before it starts, I'm just going to make a run, one real loud sound so I can manually line up the wave files. And I'm just going to look at that uh, before the track starts. Okay, now I've recorded the uh, track over the backing track that I want to play. i got the guitar track here, and I've got the backing track here. And uh, here's the place right here where I hit the guitar three times. I'm going to mainly um, line that up with the video camera audio that you'll see later in the video program. So I have the guitar here recorded, and then here's the track. Now I just have to mix these together. So, you may have to do a little bit of adjusting on your guitar to see if it's loud enough. I think it's a little low right there. I'm just going to turn down the main track. That seems a lot better. Another thing you can do is uh, put a compressor on your guitar just to raise the volume up a little bit if you need to. I'm just going to use a simple uh, digi compressor here. So I'm just going to bump up the volume just a tad. That sounds about fine. I don't want it to compress too much. Okay, I think that sounds fine. Uh, one other thing you d can do if you want your guitar to stand out a little, a little bit more is uh, put a simple little EQ on it. Every audio program comes with uh, these plugins to uh, EQ your tracks. Uh, a lot of times when I mix my guitar, I just take out a lot of the low end because it really doesn't help the track any to hear that low end uh, of the guitar. It just takes, it just gets muddy, and the guitar will stand a little bit more if you just uh, take the bass out. So I'm using a filter to roll off the lows. So let's see. I maybe just can roll off at around 150. I'm just going to play the track. It's, it kind of stands out to me a little bit more. You can roll as much off as you want. You can hear the difference. That's way too much. So, take it back down some to about 150. Anyway, this is just about you wanting to mix the track a little bit. I like panning the guitar uh, just a little bit, maybe over 32. I think that sounds pretty good. Okay, so next thing you want to do is just export this. It's different for every program. I'm just going to highlight this section I recorded, and then I'm going to hit File. Uh, export or in this case bounce to disk 
and uh, I'm going to select 24-bit. Uh, if you can record in 48 kilohertz, uh, that helps as well. Most of the video is done in 48K, so you're going to initially start recording 24-bit 48K, and then you're going to export out 24-bit 48K, and uh, that's going to be the file that you're going to mix. You're going to take it out, the camera audio, and you're going to replace it with this audio that we're exporting. So let's go ahead and move on to the uh, video editing section. Okay, now I have uh, Premiere open here. I'm going to import the video that I recorded from the camcorder. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, should be right in here. I'm going to take this file. It's going to be different for every program. I'm using Premiere Pro CS3. Uh, it's pretty similar to every program, but it, it does vary the way that you get tracks into the computer and uh, how do you mix them. Just it's just going to vary different for slightly from program to program. Um, you can use Premiere Elements. is a good cheap program to use. It's around seventy nine dollars. Uh, there's a you know, if you have a Mac, you can use iMovie. There's just a bunch of different programs you can use. But uh, I'm really familiar with Premiere Pro CS3. But Premiere Elements will work as well, too. Uh, next thing I do is uh, import the uh, file that I exported out from Pro Tools that I mi mixed. Uh, let's see if I can find that one. Okay, so now uh, I'm going to let the file process for a moment. And then I'm going to bring each file in, and I'm going to manually align uh, the audio uh, with the exported track from the audio from the camera. So it's really not hard to do. Okay, so that is process. I'm going to drag that file down here. A lot of this is some other stuff uh, that I've recorded to make this tutorial. So let's find the main clip that I want to use. I just made a little cut there. I'm going to make this audio a little bit bigger to see. And these are the three hits. This is the audio from the camcorder. So I'm going to take what I just exported out and find that. You can see, if you just look at it, I got three here. If you look at this, I got three here. So I'm just going to take this, you know, delete all that. And then I got to manually align these two. So when you have them aligned, it's almost impossible to get it perfect. But you can play it back. You can see they're all aligned, the waveforms. It's a little bit off, but not much. What you do after you do that, just listen back to it. So So that sounds fine to me. So if it's a little bit off, it will sound like this. So that's off. So you see you got the three hits. Manually move it back to where it should be. Play it again. And that's pretty much it. Now uh, you can edit it more. It depends on how much you want to do. But I'm just going to mute that audio track. And now um, this is what we have. We did have this without the uh, recorded track. It's a little hard to tell in these speakers, but I will include a before and after version. So that's pretty much it of how you record um, a separate audio, align them with the video that you record, and then just splicing them together and uh, like I said, I'm going to have a before you do this and then an after you do this in the video. And uh, after you've done all that, you're just going to export it to whatever, you know, MP4 is what I recommend. It's what I do for all my YouTube videos, 1280 by 720. 
export it as a mp4 video and that'll get you some great results and the sound will sound uh, much better if you uh, record it separately and then splice it into the backing track. It does take a little bit of practice but once you've done it a couple of times it becomes really simple and uh, it's not really that hard to do at all. 